What things do guys do that make girls ultra horny? Being thrown up against the wall. Not bruisingly so, of course, but not all gentle and sweet either. And being kissed deeply. So good. Play with their hair. Being sweaty. Lending jackets. Listening to good music. Most powerful, though? Playing the piano really well. Man. Everyone else is listing cute little things about, like, a guy they see across a room or sweet little gestures. I feel like a giant perv. Well, I am a giant perv, but I'll just come out and say it. Guys who aren't afraid of a little pegging. Look, sometimes a girl just wants to do a guy up the butt. Little kisses on the neck are nice, but a strap-on is forever. The other person in my class walked in, slammed his books down, quite obviously angry, and started to rant. I want him to rip my clothes off. So I guess it's assertiveness, with a mix of confidence and, well, how high up they are on the attractive meter. My boyfriend does this thing where he just looks at me and raises one eyebrow slightly. Instant wetty. His favorite place to do this is in public. Also, guys who are knowledgeable about something, really anything, or have a talent. Bonus horny points if you try to teach me about it. Whenever these threads come up, it reinforces my thoughts on this matter. There's no trick. Read these girls' responses. I've seen it range from play with my hair to bend over and take a strap on up the butt. WTF. For guys, a few universal answers with a sprinkling of fetishes. For girls, everything under the sun. In other words, if she likes you, doesn't matter what the cuff you do to her. It'll probably turn her on. If not, doesn't matter what the cuff you do. You're a creepy weirdo. Smirk and good banter. Playful conversation and that slight upturn at the corner of the mouth. Turns me to putty, pretty much. I bought my girlfriend flowers yesterday. There was no reason I had to get her flowers. I just wanted her to have some flowers on her desk as she studied for her finals. She wanted to jump my bones right there. My partner and fellow Redditor did two memorable things which led to rampant lovemaking. Fifteen years ago, when we had been together for a few months, he prepared a decadent champagne breakfast with strawberries dipped in chocolate, etc. For my return from an overnight bus trip, I walked into my house, groggy and tired, at 7.30 a.m. to Spotless House. He even scrubbed the mold off my bedroom walls, rising damp, and had laid out some sexy negligee and roses on my bed. He got some. Fast forward a year, and I returned home to find he had transformed the bungalow we were living in into a fairy den, with sparkly streamers hanging from the ceiling, butterflies everywhere, crystals, wish stones, etc., and candles. That also led to a wild night of lovemaking. TLDR, my partner partner did some insanely romantic things that required a lot of effort. On many other occasions, however, he had simply pestered me to get into bed, put some drop on, and waited till I begged him for it. T.I.L. Knowing what turns a woman on is still a lucky dip. I think being yourself is a good start, as one early respondent said. If that doesn't work, what chance is there long term? I was once play fighting with a guy and he grabbed my wrist to make me stop. My mind went into the gutter very quickly. I used to whisper gibberish into my ex's ear, and she said it tickled, made her squirm with delight. That one was a genuine surprise when I discovered it. Wear a simple blue or white button-up shirt and roll up your shirt sleeves. When I brought this up in high school, every girl thought this was nick of hot. Male forearms and hands are really sexy. Any forearm. Love, respect, and romance. Sometimes a little alcohol on top of that. Now keep in mind I speak from many, many years of experience. It's pointless to ask this question. I believe that women don't even know what turns them on. Ask a woman and she'll say she craves a man who loves her, is a good listener, etc. Then that same woman will follow around a bad boy who does none of the things she said she thinks is important. Here is an interest article about what turns women on. Basically, women were asked what turned them on. Then scientists measured the women's body's reaction to certain things. Things. Turns out what women say turn them on and what actually turns them on are two totally different things. Problem? Being a douchebag seems to work for some guys. You know how you can flex that muscle that makes your synap move without using your hands? That's the best thing ever. Walking in on them masturbating and attempting to join in. I like sexy teasing that lasts the whole day. It could start at the beginning of the day with morning cuddles. And when I'm ready for some sexy time, and he is too, he talks about work or breakfast and denies me. Then throughout the day, it continues on with kissing and caresses and more denial until I'm ready to pair him. Aw, oh, yeah. As a dude, I think one thing needs to be made clear. When you ask girls what turns them on, they will in all likelihood tell you the extra things that turn them on. For example, being a musician. But when they think a musician, they're thinking of a musician that's decent looking, well presented, and is not autistic. So don't start thinking, oh man, if I just become a musician, girls will flock all over me. Chances are there are other things that make you unattractive to women. Ignore them. No tish. It really works. Gentle kissing on the neck and around the ears. My husband seven years ago acted as if he wasn't really that interested in me. We started hanging out in a large group of people, so he would be within the conversation circle. However, wouldn't engage in solo conversation with me. He kept me close enough to hear 
what I was saying or see my facial expressions, but not too close. This eventually sealed the deal with me. Also, he made sure to casually brush up against me once or twice. I absolutely adore when an SO goes on passionate rants about things. It could be things as important as world oil prices to how cereal manages to escape bowls when you pour milk into them. Sounds weird, but intelligence and passion are really big draws for my attention. Or they could just have the glittery-eyed expression when they explain things to me and realize that I get it. Most people get frustrated explaining things, but I see patience as a virtue that I can learn from. Yes, learning is sexy. My two favorite things are commitment and changing myself. Napoleon was right. Girls like guys with skills. Like even if you're not really good looking. If you're a musician, I will probably want to cuff your brains out. Edit. I'm exaggerating. By want to cuff your brains out, I mean find you very attractive in spite of your physical mediocrity. I like it when a guy isn't afraid to tease himself in order to tease me. Yes. One tip I've heard. As you're talking to a girl, imagine her masturbating to the thought of you, but try to keep a straight face. You won't be able to suppress a slight grin or leer, which many girls find very sexy. My boyfriend rides his bike with a little trailer hitch on it for my son all the time. Every time we pass a group of girls, it doesn't matter what age, and he's got the little guy in the back, they always get the upturned eyebrow aww look. Sometimes you can hear them audibly say, oh my god, I can hear them ovulating in unison. Perhaps that isn't the rangingly horny you had in mind. But hey, ovulation equals horny equals sex. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.